want you to escort him. That's it. Okay, well, what's going on? I don't got to tell you. I know what's going on. Just well, can you tell me what happened to your eye? You called his friend. Can you tell me what happened to your eye? Ma'am, you called me to help you. I want to help you out. Just the model of cooperation, civility, genteelness. What a lady. <laughs> Laura Fader coming back at you with another video, Laura Fader's perspective. And I got another body cam for y'all today, man. And I just got one question. What is wrong with people today? Is this the black community? I mean, today we got a video of a young lady who decided to strike the cops after having called the cops. I don't know what she expected to happen, but why are our young women so violent? I mean, I don't understand it, but let's get into it. Now, Lou. Well, I'm sure I'll let you got a body camera on. What's going on, ma'am? No. Are you all right? Yeah. Did you get pops in the mouth? No. No? What's going on? Who else does I want to say? I guess did you call us? <laughs> he asking questions, you know what I'm talking about? And, and this is the person who called now, and look how she acting. Why are you not interacting? She won't even look at the cop, man. Say, squash somebody, that's it. Okay. Hey, what's up, my man? What's going on, bro? You see what's going on in there? No? Okay, hang tight for me real quick. Hey, guys, please fire, man. And what's with all the spitting? You know, I've got some theories as to why she's spitting and maybe it has something to do with what she was doing earlier on before she called the cops, you know, but that's just a theory. Uh, he asked her, did she get struck in the mouth when he came up and she was like, no. So, I mean, what's with all the doggone spitting? And also, do you notice how foul mouthed everyone is? I mean, is this how we speak nowadays? Let's continue. Nobody said he touched me. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Where's my next closest unit? Okay, man. Just want to see how That's my crib. What okay, you mean? Okay. Like anybody would try, like, okay, come on, hey, bro. I don't care, bro. It's all good, dude. Hey, man. Nobody said you did shit and say. No, you call him a fucker. Yeah. Fuck you. Like you said, you playing with me. Hit me, bro. I don't get no. Wow. Now, did y'all see that? What's it do? Who is he bucking up to? The female or the cop? Either way, that is not good. And notice how these police have so much patience. They didn't even do anything with that, man. If we're supposed to be, you know, shooting black men and all this other stuff, man, I don't know about you, but at least that would have been pro provocation for me to put my hands on the young brother. But, you know, let's keep on going. Away from from there. Uh, doing that. Uh, away from you, okay, man, do you want to tell me what's going on? In her house. House. I want you to escort him. That's it. Okay, well, what's going on? I don't got to tell you. I know what's going on. Just well, can you tell me what happened to your eye? You called his friend. Can you tell me what happened to your eye? Ma'am, you called me to help you. I want to help you out. Just the model of cooperation, civility, genteelness. What a lady. Again, with the spitting. What's up with the spitting? Bro, can, you, can you please tell me your name? Janaya. Janaya. Okay. So, so what? In order for me to even do anything, can need to tell me what's going on. Okay? It was a little argument. Clearly. I was trying to get okay. my house key. That's okay. it. He want to get my key. Who's he to you? Him? Yeah. That's his friend. He's trying to get him. That's it. No, no, no. The gentleman with the, with the no T-shirt. You can slow down. Who's the one? I saw him. Now you want to? Okay. Hey, but I never touched but, you. Just, just you hit me and I hit you back. Just ignore him. I never touched you. I never touched you. So now. Wow. That's how we refer to young women nowadays with the N word. I mean, it's no wonder they so masculine. Look how masculine this female is. Does she feel like she got to be that way just to keep up with the Joneses or what's going on, man? Is this how we raising them? I don't really she, It's like if you were just listening to the audio and her voice was a couple of octaves lower, it, it just be a dude, man. I took, bro. Yeah, I hit the off well, I got the proof. I was just sitting there. Hey, bro, Janiah, I got the Janiah. Oh, right. What are you talking just about? I'm not even no more. You started talking to me, you could have just gave me my key and I was gonna leave. I'll pay the rent here. 
don't hate sheep. I said, no, bitch, you got to be sick and I'm on my job, bro. Don't go at him. No, bitch, beat him up. Bro, get the fuck out. Get him out of my crib. All in front of the police, man. They about to have a fight in front of the police. What sense does this make? You got to tell us what's going on. I, I got to tell you shit. I ain't got to tell you nothing. Look, look at her, man. Why are they so foul mouth? Man, I can remember not too long ago when women wasn't like this. There. Oh you live there. Who all lives there? So I'm breaking my lease anyway. Okay, so who all lives here? The woman continued to yell at the man even after the officer's repeated request not to do so. True. Look at all these police coming. They looking around. This so all I asked him to do was to give me the key so I could walk down there. I was going to come back when he left. Uh, that's my daughter. Okay. Hey, you. go ahead and slap, bro. I'm not even going. Okay, so mom showed up. Not that uh, her behavior is going to change. And I got to wonder how her behavior would have changed were her father there. Because I got to tell you right now, ain't no way I'm going to be on the scene and my daughter's acting like that. Just not going to happen. Go! Oh, you want to go so bad? Do you think we can go down there and talk? Go! Oh. Can we see that? Can we walk away from him? I'm, 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 really, I'm really trying to... Bro, I'm sorry. I asked her to key! No, you get my grandma paid for it. I say the money she sent me. Does this young lady work or? I mean, she has an apartment, right? And the young man is staying there talking about he pays everything. What kind of arrangement they got going on? Jesus. Hey, you're fine. Just keep walking. Just walk with me. Just walk. Ignore him. Ignore Bro. him. Bro. He's being the bad person. Just speak with me, okay? You a Just speak with me. Fuck to my plan, you you single now, you're not playing nobody. Tonight. Yeah, you been single. Right, I don't get no like the cop is not even there. Why in the world did you call him? And also I gotta say, if this was my kid, she wouldn't have to call the cops. All she would have had to call was me, but that's another story. So my plan, you didn't see how the in my crib while I was sick? Ignore him. Ignore him. Bro, he pushed me down the I didn't touch him at all. I wish we could have got that on video. You put me down the stairs. Okay, just Stop. Can you can you talk to us about anything? Hey, ma'am, do you want to talk about what's going on? Bro, I just want to talk to Hello. She moving pretty good for having been pushed down some steps. Apparently, she did not sustain any injuries. That's quite impressive. Hey, 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 stay over here. Stay over here. Stay over here. Or else you're going to go in cuffs, okay? Stay over here, ma'am. What I tell you? Ma'am, stay over here. Stay over here. Okay, now it's then got to the point where the police got to put their hands on the young lady, right? Ah, uh, this is not going to be the extent of that. Okay. I got a body cam on. What's going on today? Bro, he mad because I told him to give him my house key. Who, me, who is him. he? Ma'am. Somebody I was dealing with. Somebody I was dealing with. They don't even have relationships. It's just somebody that they're dealing with. Talk to me right here. Right. Who, who is he to you? That's my boyfriend. Okay. Did anything, well, it was my boyfriend. Did anything, my boyfriend. Did anything physical happen? No, I asked him for my key. That's it. Okay. So he wanted to leave me my key. Get to y'all. Should I call y'all to escort me on my crib? Give me my key, okay. bro. Hold on. Hey, I need to talk to you. <sighs> What's up with the spitting? So we can figure out if we can do that, okay? God, we'll probably take one more. Y'all don't need one more. Ma'am. Like Ma'am. Ma'am. Stop walking around or else you're going to get put in handcuffs, okay? You're not. You hear that? Stop walking around or else you get put in handcuffs. But like everything else he said since he been there, she ain't paid no attention to that. Listen. That's what he's trying to say. You won't even listen to the man. Even her mom telling her she won't even listen. But then again, it's just her mom. She don't have no res more respect for her mom than she got for the police. Because I doubt this young lady was taught respect. How long has he lived here for? We never, you pushed me down the stairs. My mom told you to stop being her f***ing daughter. Because you always fighting me, Ma'am. See, that was an attempt to get him in trouble, even though she's the one out there causing all the ruckus. At least the dude's smart enough to stay in the house and not engage with the police. But she's so entitled and emboldened, she's going to go out there and start and think that just based on her word, they're going to do everything she wants to happen. It doesn't happen like that, especially when you're not being calm and can sit there and describe to the police, hey, what's happening? Calmly say, hey, I want the guy out, whatever the, con the conversation needs to be. Have one. 
Why are you walking around barely acknowledging their existence, acting like the world is there to serve you, man? When you want to get things done, you got to give a little bit of respect before you get any. Ma'am, take your seat on the fire hydrant, okay? She won't even look at this guy. Ma'am. Bro, so since you give me shit, I got to bow down to you? Ma'am. I got to bow down to you? Fuck, come on, bro. Okay. Uh, put your hands behind your back. No, we're not, bro. Stop okay. touching me. There we go. To stop touching me. Let me see if I can get every dumb you know what in the hood to come out because they think something is going down with the police that shouldn't be happening. They've been talking to you since the start of this video about calming down and stop engaging with this guy to show them what's going on. But no, nope, you didn't choose to do that. So you're going to do what you want to do, but uh, that's not going to work out for you. Then chill out. Girl, would you you want to go in handcuffs? Beat your ass too. Get the f off of me. You can try that, but that wouldn't work out. She done told a cop that she gonna beat him too. <laughs> man, calm to say, well, you can try that. But it ain't gonna work out no well, no more. It ain't gonna work out no better than it's gonna work out here in a second. Chill stop out. Touching me. You wanna go in handcuffs? Stop no, touching me. Chill out. No, stop touching me. I'm yep. already mad, bro. Young ladies, let me explain something to y'all. Nobody cares if you're mad. Don't nobody care. Get mad. Be mad. It doesn't change anything. I, I don't care if you're mad because I obviously can't help I can't do anything. I can't do anything for you if you don't talk to me. How long has he lived here? Ma'am? There we go. <laughs> Did y'all just see that? I don't know uh, if she ever goes to school or been to school, but... I know one thing, when you hit the police, it's not, they just not gonna say, oh, my bad, you know, you were in your feelings and you hauled off and hit me. That's a charge. Felony, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Maybe Muhammad Ali is her dad. Maybe that's it, cause I uh, seem like she like boxing. Now you call the cops and wind up in cuffs. So welcome to what not to do when you call the cops 101. Oh, fuck. Let me you check these handcuffs. Hand. Yep, I'm gonna check them. Fuck, I mean the go. I gave you about 10 warnings. I don't give a what you gave me. You don't know me, bro, I don't give a Well, you're under arrest now. I don't give a fuck. And not for nothing. I mean, look at the broadness of the back. I mean, that build right there, she uh, might have thought she had a good right hand on her. I don't know. Oh, I didn't care and I don't care now. Everybody gonna stop playing with me. For real. Show up, let me fix these Bro, cuffs. I'm telling y'all, y'all better let me go, y'all. You're under arrest for act back. I'm not under arrest for yeah, nothing. you are. Yeah, make a declaration, tell a cop what you ain't uh, under arrest for. Because everything else you've been doing be working out so well. No, I didn't punch you. You tried to grab me and I moved you. Yeah, also, let's rewrite history. But you know what? You're missing that reality stone that Thanos had where you could just make everything be the way you want it to be. Uh, everybody saw what happened thanks to the good old body cam. Fuck Obviously, you need to stop touching me. Their minds are so foul, man. Who? How can this be attractive, man? I don't know how you young men get with something that's basically a young man with a vajayjay. I just don't get this. What's attractive about that, man? I mean, she's not a bad looking young little female, but good God, it's just repulsive. Fake hair all twined up in what her real hair is, which I bet ain't that long. You know why? Because she wears so much crap in her head and pulled it all out. Would be a nice looking young lady with her own hair and, and acting a little bit more feminine. And also, you gotta understand that dude that stand up in your house, you pick that guy. That's what you're going out there to pick. Somebody that's going to fight with you. Somebody that obviously don't have a real job because judging by the little bit I was able to see, even though the image was blurred, I'm not hiring that kid. You have no bro. What's wrong with y'all? Bro, let me go. Bro. I'm telling y'all. Bro, <laughs> bro let me go. Bro, I don't give no you just search her real quick, stick her my glasses. Oh, don't touch me! You're not a female! You're not
Uh, if you was worried about who was touching you, maybe you should have thought about that before you struck a policeman. Now, a little late to be making demands. I'm supposed to be touching me. Uh, you don't know Stop that. touching me. Stop. Stop. Bro, don't touch my bro. I'm telling you, bro. Back. Yeah, because you're in so much control right now. Back up. Back up. I don't give a fuck. She showed no signs of stopping her erratic behavior. No. I don't give a fuck about Stop. nobody. What's wrong with y'all? Leave me a fuck alone. Well, you're under arrest. You're going to the county jail. I don't give no fuck about no county jail. What's wrong with y'all? She don't care. She don't care about nobody. She don't. So what if everybody just didn't care about you? What if everybody just didn't care about where you were going, what you were doing? Sound like you living life on easy mode as it is. You don't got no job. You don't pay no money. You moving useless. You know what's up into your house. Y'all hanging out. I don't know what you was doing before them cops got there, but you sure are spitting a whole lot and you can use your imagination to figure out what's in a mouth you want to get out of it so bad. This is just wild, man. If this is the way people are living, this is crazy. I don't see how we can build no society with this. How can she perpetuate the human race, man? What's going to come out of her that's going to be good? And her mom can't control her, even though her mom is acting calm and you'll see in a minute trying to get her out of this situation. Seem like we should have did a little bit more before that, like make sure that her dad was around. Cause that's what I don't see. I really don't see no older men around to control this situation. Y'all don't know me bro, I will tweak the out. Stop. Y'all don't know me bro, so let me go. Yeah, cause you so big and bad. For Open real? Y'all do not know bro, Open I will tweak the that. out. Y'all better let me the go. Take a seat. No, I'm not playing. Give me my phone, call Take my grandma. Seat. Boy, now why are you trying to call your grandma when your mom is there, what is grandmama going to do? Now, I remember my big mama, most powerful memory, uh, member of my family. It, it, what she said was law. It went down when big mama hollered about it. But I don't think big mama was in control of the police. I could be wrong. You're not calling anybody right now. Right, because you a Let me go. Miss Nichols, are you doing all right? Are you calm down at, a little bit? Look at that face. Look at that face right there. What demon do you think inhabits her soul that's got such a hold on her right now? Because that's what it is. It gotta be some type of demon. It, it can't be that this child is just acting like this, right? I think that really, there's some spiritual things going on here that we ain't looking at that people don't normally see. A lot of the things y'all call mental illness is straight up low level possession because that's what this scene, won't y'all ask him, what's your name? Uh, the power of Christ compels you. <laughs> Do you want to talk about whatever happened inside the apartment? I don't want to talk about it. Give she me my phone. Talk That's about all I want to talk about. call. Just okay. need a phone. The phone solved nah, everything. Nah, you need a quick call. Well, I don't want to talk to nobody. Everybody leave me alone. For real. I'm not in the mood already at the end. That's what you raised, ma'am. That right there. <laughs> Did everybody just daddy pissing me off more. I'm telling you, I'm going to somebody up just leave me alone up there basically screaming to like you always put your no, he always hitting me i got pictures of this black guys all that i don't touch him i tell him to get my kid he started hitting me tonight so after this is over with i'm breaking it's over with just break the leash tonight go up the back i don't want to talk if all that's true why are you the one sitting in the cop car you would think if he was hitting you all the time you had black eyes and all that 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 would have been the time to call the cops and show them some evidence. Wouldn't have took them 1.2 milliseconds to drag him out of there. They trying to help you. Help me for what? I got proof. I didn't touch him. Okay. I don't care what he told y'all. You're, you're not under arrest you're, for that. You're not. I'm, I don't care. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure I don't out. Care. Nope. Don't care. Tell me what, how you get that thing on your eye? How? He's saying that you attacked him. How? How? How did I attack him no, no, and no, get no, myself from no, 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 high? No, no, no. You're, you're not listening. How'd you get that thing on your eye? Can you tell me what happened to you? Did he punch you, scratch you, push you? What, what happened? You lying, telling him I hit hey, you? Hey. I never touched you. Giving her every opportunity to put some down, you know, on recording to say what he did. <sighs> Either she's so upset or she's just not bright enough to understand what's going on right here. I pick number two. You! Yeah, you did. You just told them that. I'm out of here. Hold on, bro. No, wait, let me wait, the wait, out of here. They gonna try to turn her Bro, let me. I'm trying to tell. I'm trying to calm her down. Right, what, what I'm trying to take. Did he study? Lying to y'all. Okay. Hey, Janaya, Janaya, just take. Cold I don't gotta lie about. He always fighting. This not the first police call. Look at my number. Hold on. The police always Hold on. here. Hold on. Nah, what they? The same police that y'all want to defund. The same police that 
y'all say we don't need the same police that y'all claim are killing us uh, with no type of provocation at all? Is, is those the ones you calling? Hmm? I'm trying to, I'm trying to help y'all. They lying about I'm hitting him. Hitting him they, out. The police have been up to us. Nah. Hey, mama, your time to help was when she was like two or three years old. Right now, it's over with. Couple times. Nah, they trying to basically say that you are like reason why they are trying to arrest you because how you acting and stuff. They said they came to talk to you, but you started trying to fight them and stuff. Exactly. And I told them you got mental health issues and stuff, but what you doing is not going to help you. They probably didn't even want to try to arrest you. Mental health issues, demonically possessed. Yeah. Night. Mom, it's not you. I just don't want to talk to nobody. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. I'm going to somebody up. Just let me be, bro. Just like a dude. That whole little diatribe right there is like a dude. Nothing feminine whatsoever. Her mom doesn't seem overly masculine. Why is she so over? Okay, see, this is the problem in minority communities. Culture. It's culture. It ain't got nothing to do with race. It ain't got nothing to do with gender. It's all culture. It's the stuff that they pumping into their ear hole 24 seven that they watching on TV. Now they emulate and they don't even understand why they doing it. And by the time they figure it out, they are ready to crash their lives, man. I'm telling you, right. I don't want to talk to nobody. Bro. Bro, I'm not trying to touch you, bro. <laughs> Ever defiant. Look at her. She walking up in there, boy, like she the queen of Zamunda. I gotta hear my pocket, okay? Yeah, yeah. It's right here to the left. Come on, bro. I don't want them touching me either, bro. So they gotta search you. For what? I don't have nothing on me. I'll take you a seat on the bench there for me, please. Get up in there, you better tell me. You got grown worms. You got a lot going on. Oh, I think they got the right one. I'm not in the mood, bro. I'm telling y'all. <laughs> Nah, you remember everything except punching the cop, you know, being uncooperative having a five mile, trying to really escape from the cop. You, you don't remember none of that. It's I called the cops and I'm in jail because I wanted my keys. That ain't why you in there. And how can you be that disassociated than to understand that? What is the purpose of lying now? It's on camera. Why are we trying to rewrite it? This ought to let a lot of you guys know when you're dealing with women, how they're going to try to portray things, how they are some of them, some, not all, but a lot of them, especially the younger generation, incapable of telling anything dealing with the truth or reality. Once again, she missing that reality stone. You had that reality stone, maybe that time stone, you could turn it back and make it what you want, you know, but uh, barring that, you're in a whole lot of trouble. You in deep, little one. And I stabbed your up, I'm gonna be going to jail for that. Who did I kill? What they gonna do? Besides, so just tell y'all everything I'm telling them. Oh, yeah, yeah, she's going through. I, I know what I'm going through already. I've been in and out of institutional hospitals. I don't even want to tell me. Boy, we can tell you've been in and out of host uh, uh, institutional hospitals, man, because look at how she up in there, boy. She do not care. Just a rocking. Do you want to talk to somebody? No, I don't. I already know how this shit goes. I already been through this a thousand times in Chicago, everywhere I go. It's called <laughs> I've been through the Chicago, everywhere I go. Then what do you deduce the problem may be, hmm? Call SAS, call whoever y'all can call Barfield Park. I don't give a you're gonna have to. No, I'm not. I'm not posting that on Facebook. Yeah. I know how y'all operate. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. That's what y'all do. Hey, what? You gonna cooperate with me? Yeah, no, no, bro. Don't come when we talk. Hey, what? Really? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. 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 Ain't no smoking. 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 Ain't be out there on the community, you know, got an apartment, just unstable as all get out. Well, there's nobody that can, you know, watch over this person and make sure that, I mean, she just out there unfettered, man, calling the cops multiple times, being in and out of institutions. I mean, that's, I don't understand. Can her mom not do anything? 
I'm going to call my grandmama. Notice who she said she wasn't going to call. I ain't going to call my uncle. I ain't going to call my dad. I ain't even going to call my cousin. What does her father think about this right here? Is her father alive? I mean, what's going on? You know, there really needs to be a discussion about, you know, these fathers not being in the home. And everybody want to assume the worst is that the man got up and left. But, you know, some of y'all women act like this woman right here. And we don't want to be around that right there. You drive the man off, then you say he left. And this is not benefiting anybody. And I don't think we can change this right here. This right here is the culture. It's getting worse. You got people out here in her generation that's making songs about everything except what they need to be making songs about. They're making movies, all these hood movies that's giving them the blueprint of how to act and how to, how to think. And then you got these doggone Democrats, these liberals. That's coddling them and telling them that they are victim. I mean, it's just crazy, man. So this is Lord Fader and this was Lord Fader's perspective. You know what I'm saying? I hope y'all understand that I'm just out here giving my thoughts on what's going down. And I saw this one and I had to give my thoughts, man, because this is absolutely crazy. I wish the young lady the best. I hope there's some male influence they can get in her life that want to actually help this young lady. And it seemed like every one of these body cam videos I do, that's the sentiment, man. Maybe there's some male, cause y'all, you know, y'all want to holler about patriarchy and all that, but this is what it looks like when that's absent. You know, we need men and we need real men and we need men that's not out to, you know, take from these women, but it's out to actually help these women. Cause we realize if we put strong women in our community, then our community becomes strong. Law of Fader, I'm out.